Happy, not Black Friday. That's the opposite. <laughs> Happy Fat Tuesday. We, this was a Tuesday that was a Monday here in the United States yes. because of the hol- federal holiday yesterday. So what that meant is work was bonkers for me today, mm-hmm. which meant that we didn't do our research. And there's actually a Polish deli not far from us, yeah. but it closed early, which they should because it's Punchki Day. It's Fat yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, we really wanted to get Punchkis, but... They're just going to go grocery shopping at Aldi, see if there's any other, you know, goodies that will... We actually had donuts today from Dunkin' Donuts. But um, a punchki is a different punchki than a is donut. Different. It's a and Polish know, donut, but yeah. it's different. It's different. Um, but yeah, tomorrow is Ash Wednesday, so no matter what, we're going to do it up tonight. Yeah. Um, Mr. Jamesy Boy had his four-month checkup early before we move, and he's just zonked from his shots. Um, oh, Eve sees reflections up the window. So I'm going to go to the store. They're going to hang out. And ideally, when I get back, we'll go to Market on South for our last time going to Market on South. For dinner. For dinner. why but with only an hour or 40 minutes left of shopping the most stressful thing happened my phone decides to update to ios 14 and all my notes were on my phone but i just had to walk around in circles until it was done but we made it what you're a big kid holding your binky did we say where we're going for dinner yes i totally forgot that we mentioned market on south in the intro um but we're also going to be picking up a print there that we're going to have framed and have in our new place. It's a, is it Winter Park or is it all of Orlando? It's Orlando. Orlando, a map. This really beautifully stylized graphic of um, a map of Orlando. So we're going to get that. Um, if you guys are new around here, we conceived our child through IVF. And after all of our different infertility appointments, um, that we went to for years and years, we would go to this restaurant, Market on South, um, which is actually a market with different goods, but also um, the Dixie Dharma is the food side and then Vahala Bakery is the sweet side. We would go there after every um, appointment and so it is obviously very special to us. And so um, we really wanted to make sure that we went before we moved to Chicago. I also just want to point out that we already have multiple trips to Disney in our plans. So please don't think that once we move to back to Chicago that our channel will be void of Disney whatsoever. Like obviously it's a part of us, um, but there'll be trips coming up. There'll be other travels, you know, once once that al- that's allowed. So. I just wanted to point that out because I feel like I've been seeing a lot of sad um, messages and comments saying that they're going to miss us going to Disney, but we are going to be going to Disney for the rest of our lives. So there's that. I'm trying to get us another DVC contract by the end of the year. Do you want another DVC contract? Oh my goodness. He's thinking like, yeah, like a 24 year old uh, old QS contract sounds nice. Yeah. This is the print we're gonna get to add to our little, I don't know where it's going exactly, but just we have a lot of different prints that kind of summarize our life. So we thought that would be perfect. So we got this crazy kid on the table and their food just arrived. We got their cheese steak, which we've never tried before. So that was trying something new on our last time. And then we got an Old Faithful orange bird sandwich. I got mac and cheese. Peter got his hot toddies. <laughs> and I keep hitting my head on this plant. Here's our little active dude, active dude, active dude. We're talking about what we're gonna 
What watch, else do you want? watch when we get home. What are we watching? Maybe the Studio Ghibli that we never. Oh yeah. Did I pronounce that right? Hey, we don't Let pronounce anything. Right. Yeah, Studio Ghibli. <laughs> yeah. But we officially got our downtown Orlando oh, print. I'm so excited. I was looking at like how cool it is. I'm not gonna go into detail right now. I'll go into detail later because more importantly, we gotta eat our desserts. We got one brookie and one bourbon yolo. For any future trips that we drive down here or have a rental, I could see me driving over here from like Disney property or if we stay to Wyndham or somewhere and just picking up like sweets, like these sweets yeah. here, rather than getting a full dinner or anything. Yeah. Why is my baby smiling at me so big while I'm selfing? I don't know, but it's making my life. Because you're cute. And I forgot that my phone, rather than Sarah's iPhone, is much worse in low light, but we're going on a family walk. We have Eve here. This is Sarah Brookhart. This is Peter, this is James. He's very excited to be outside in a walking capacity. He's stretching his legs. <laughs> James's excited face with Dad. <laughs> you Rex? You gonna eat our desserts? Dad's not, Dad's not gonna run tonight. <laughs> he just does it, opens his mouth as wide as he can. Alright, so we're gonna watch Kiki's Delivery Service, but before we do this, I, which we've never seen before, I'm gonna show you in a closer detail that uh, map that we got from Market on Tough. Alright, so here's downtown Orlando on this map, and to give you context, this down here is Orange Avenue between South Division and South Orange. This is where James was born. Here's I-4, runs through it. You got 408 over here, 50. Here's downtown. So that is the courthouse where I went to the first march of the summer, Lake Eola. This dome right here is City Hall and Dr. Phillips Center. So if you follow this, you'll see Village or Ivanhoe Village and North Orange and Orwin Manor and Winter Park. This is where we live. This is like a running path I use very often, the Orlando Urban Trail. But there's like, you know, there's a lot of cool things in here that like, oh, this is just a map, but like have really close ties to our time here between everything we saw like Lake Eola with James being born over here. This Eastern Central Park where you see the Milk District. This is where um, Market on South is. Then over here, you see College Park, this big area, but if you look closely, that College Park symbol right there looks like the Publix that we usually go to because that's what that is supposed to be symbolizing. And then you've got the Orlando Science Center, Winter Park. So just a lot of pieces of small history that when you look at, like, if we have this framed, and if you go over here, oh, wait, I forgot I took it down. The Route 66 graphic, but, like, this is downtown but also the neighboring spots where we've got history. So we're going to try to find a version of this, a similar style to a, like a, like a complementary style, but not the exact same kind for downtown Chicago with all the neighborhoods so that we can have them by each other. So it's our two different homes with all little pieces where I can be like, well, I used to go on a run over here and I went to the Orlando city game over here and I went to Pride at Lake Eola, and James was born over here, and our embryos are. So this is this is our embryos are like right over here. Actually, yeah, it's right on this other side of the water. This lake, actually, I know what lake this is. Our embryos are like right here. So, just like, with the exception of Universal and Disney not being on this, this is our Orlando home. Jamesy boy. It's now. We're relaxing and we're gonna watch this movie. And what actually like had us remember to watch this movie is when we were in the Japan Pavilion the other day, which then in turn remind me of a conversation I had with our friend Sammy. You could come be in our shot, Evie. So I talked to our friend Sammy because we have been, you know, it's been important to us to talk about, oh my goodness, about not just not being racist, but being anti-racist. Um, 
And right now in America, there's been heightened crimes against Asian Americans. Um, and we just wanted to bring it up. And being anti-racist isn't doesn't just apply to Black Lives Matter. Right. It's, it applies to everybody. Right. Um, and so this is just like you, <laughs> Avers. It's just your, I think, one, like, a reminder to be aware of it around you. Um, and I think even being, like, another part about being anti-racist is to not be an innocent bystander if yeah. you happen to witness it or even if in your circle of friends or in your family. But even if there's conversation with people that you love um, to stand up for others, to be kind to others, and um, not even just to others directly, but indirectly as well. Um, and then I think number two is, you know, being aware of it happening, like on the news and keeping up with current events, um, and just being mindful and being a part of a kinder society. Society. Something um, that remind that like always has been like bringing up that I've been thinking about over the past year with everything and people just being more aware is that so many times and this goes into like comments and messages we get when people don't like when we talk about stuff like this because it's not oh happy disney mm -hmm. it's it's that uh, people always like to some people like to point out to us don't talk like you shouldn't talk about politics you shouldn't talk about religion uh, people are coming here for escape people come here for disney people don't like when we talk well, i one, think people have learned by now that that's not well, what our still channel random is yeah messages that are like you really shouldn't be talking about this stuff but i think through these conversations with people and people we've met that I think future generations will do good by doing the opposite of that and the more people that talk about their religions and talk about the political views will not make a more divisive society but make a more inclusive society. Because then those conversations aren't confrontational, aren't high tension because it's just, you know, Hopefully common, common communication about. and... Um, that might mean uncomfortable conversations at first. Right. But you, if those conversations keep being brought up, right. then they lose that It's just that common stigma. place. It's yeah. common place instead of this big taboo subject. Right. Um, and so, you know, we, we're we always open to chat with you in, in the comments or in messages about stuff like this. If you're feeling like you've witnessed something or if you're experiencing something yourself, um, we'd like to learn more about your perspective, we also are, you know, we wanted to educate ourselves before truly talking about this, but I think it, at the end of the day, it's very simple, and it's treat others the way that you want to be treated, and we just want to keep our, you know, corner of the internet a safe and welcoming place. For everybody, yeah. Yeah. Kiki's delivery service was grade A entertainment. Simple, wonderful storyline of beautiful artistry. These two on the other hand didn't make it. But she's been hanging out with me. And I also said I busted out the Nintendo Switch again. I was playing some Smash Brothers and some old school Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Like animation from the eighties like that and the whole like Studio Ghibli and other animation from that era, I just felt like each frame was such a piece of art. It was beautiful. And we're not gonna watch another one tonight because it's already twelve thirty. Um but I can't wait to watch the rest of them, especially like my friend Totoro. I found this, I've never seen that and I've always wanted to. I think that'll be the next one we watch, I think. But Kiki's Delivery Service, give it a shot. If you've got HBO Max, all the Studio Ghibli's on there. I don't know if they're on any other streaming services yet, but it's on that. That's how we're watching it. What do you do when you're the hungriest puppy in the land? You just sleep outside the pantry. Right, everybody, Amherst? Nope, cozy there. Alright. It is the 16th, Tuesday. Today's quote is by Robert Byron. The purpose of life is a life of purpose. So Sarah and I, like, today was the perfect day for us to go shopping and for us to go to Market on South for the last time because it's kind of hard to do Market on South during the week and go out to to Universal or Disney or theme park um, because of location and time constraints of when the parks close and everything. Look at this hair, it's ridiculous. Um, so with today kind of like pseudo being the last day that we will stay home 
while we live here. It worked out that we did our grocery shopping and we went to Market on South because the rest of the time we have to make it a point to go over to some kind of theme park area because guys, it's getting scary close. Like when your when this vlog goes up tomorrow, like when we go to bed and wake up, it'll be Wednesday and then we can say a week from today will be the last time we do anything because Thursday when Grant gets here, we're just going to be getting the bus, the truck, getting Grant, load up the truck, clean everything, getting the last bit of things. So like a week from Wednesday, Wednesday's our, we're going to Epcot, it's our last park day, it's our last day of us doing things living in Orlando, which is, it's starting to set in, but it like literally comes and switches. Like for the past three hours, it hasn't felt like we're moving at all. But then right now it's like, boom. So it's just, uh, a lot of emotions, a lot to comprehend. Um, Sarah and I will probably go into detail more met numerous times between now and when we get settled. But it's like strange because like Chicago is home and we've got, you know, my family living there, Sarah's family living there, like all of our different homes that are there, but like our family home, like the Brookharts, meaning Eve, Sarah, James, and me, like our home is not established there yet, which I think that's what's freaking me out because we're not settled. We don't have like, it's an old neighborhood that we're moving back to, but it's been five years. So it's changed because we, it's not the, the neighborhood we moved from. Evers, it's okay. We're, I'm about to stop there and then I can go to bed. So like the uncertainty of like having to reestablish our home again, or like our new home is uh, kind of giving me, whew, but it's, like, it's, it's it's all exciting. Can you hear Eve crying? She's so ready for bed. It's good to be home. our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>